The Flight Dynamics Research Facility, or FDRF, is NASA Langley Research Center's next large construction project. It's NASA's first large new wind tunnel since the National Transonic Facility opened over 40 years ago. FDRF will be a highly versatile and cost-effective vertical wind tunnel for conducting flight dynamics and other research on all manner of atmospheric flight vehicles. This 25,000 square foot facility will play a major role in the acceleration of NASA's goals in aeronautics, space exploration, and science. The research in the new wind tunnel will enable advanced vehicle concepts such as autonomous flight vehicle development for advanced air mobility and urban air mobility, unmanned aerial systems, and X-planes. Researchers will also test technologies such as Learn to Fly to provide new insights into rapid vehicle testing and help with risk reduction for flight demonstrators and other new vehicle concepts. The FDRF will improve exploration systems and space operations through a number of means including vehicle development and risk reduction for NASA and commercial crew entry capsules. Launch abort systems will be tested here as well, including aerodynamics, vehicle dynamics, and parachutes. FDRF will also support entry, descent, and landing for human exploration and science missions returning to and from the Moon and Mars, as well as exploration of Venus and Titan, Saturn's largest moon. FDRF is replacing four buildings, including two 1930s vintage flight facilities, the vertical spin tunnel, and 12-foot low-speed tunnel, which have provided support for all manner of flight vehicles, from biplanes to supersonic aircraft to space vehicles. This is NASA's future. The Flight Dynamics Research Facility will provide Langley with a highly flexible and cost-effective state-of-the-art flight dynamics experimental testing facility that will enable ongoing and future aeronautics research, space exploration, and science missions for decades to come.